He is known for his role as a Roman general, statesman, and architect who supported and served as a close friend and lieutenant to the Roman Emperor Augustus. He is recognized for his significant contributions to architecture, including the construction of notable buildings such as the original Pantheon. His name is Marcus Vipsanius Agrippa. In the realm of ancient Roman history, one name stands out, Marcus Vipsanius Agrippa. Born to a humble family in Roman Italy around 63 BC, Agrippa's destiny intertwined with that of the future Emperor Augustus, then known as Octavian. Their friendship would shape the course of history. From the battlefield to the construction site, Agrippa showcased his remarkable talents as a general, statesman, and architect. Agrippa's military prowess was evident in the Battle of Philippi, where he fought alongside Octavian and Mark Antony, Caesar's former general. But it was his victory in the Battle of Actium in 31 BC that solidified his legacy. Against the forces of Mark Antony and the famed Cleopatra, Agrippa's leadership of Octavian's fleet proved decisive. The triumph at Actium propelled Octavian to become emperor, with Agrippa by his side as a trusted lieutenant. While Agrippa's military victories were impressive, his architectural achievements were equally remarkable. He played a pivotal role in shaping the skyline of Rome, constructing iconic buildings that would stand the test of time. The original Pantheon, a marvel of ancient engineering, was among his notable creations. But Agrippa's contributions extended beyond grand structures. He renovated aqueducts, ensuring that all Roman citizens had access to high-quality public services. His creation of baths, porticos, and gardens added beauty and functionality to the city. Agrippa's influence extended beyond the realm of architecture and warfare. He was an accomplished writer, particularly in the field of geography. Under his supervision, a comprehensive survey of the Roman Empire was completed, resulting in a circular chart engraved on marble. His dedication to understanding and documenting the vast empire showcased his intellectual curiosity and thirst for knowledge. Marcus Vipsanius Agrippa's life was one of extraordinary accomplishments. From his military victories to his architectural marvels, he left an indelible mark on ancient Rome. His close association with Augustus and his role in shaping the empire's landscape made him a central figure in Roman history. Agrippa's legacy stands as a testament to the power of talent, friendship, and the enduring impact one person can have on the course of history. In the tumultuous aftermath of Octavian's return to Rome, he and his allies realized that they needed the support of powerful legions. It was in this crucial moment that Agrippa, Octavian's trusted confidant, stepped in to lend his expertise. With Agrippa's help, Octavian successfully raised troops in Campania, solidifying his military strength. This paved the way for Octavian to form an alliance with Mark Antony in Lepidus, known as the Second Triumvirate, which was legally established in 43 BC. As the Second Triumvirate took shape, Octavian and his consular colleague Quintus Pedius devised a plan to bring Caesar's assassins to justice. Agrippa was entrusted with the case against Gaius Cassius Longinus, one of the conspirators. This marked the beginning of Agrippa's political career, as he held the position of Tribune of the Plebs, granting him entry into the esteemed Senate. In 42 BC, Agrippa fought alongside Octavian and Antony in the Battle of Philippi. The triumphant return to Rome marked a turning point in the conflict between Octavian and his rivals, Lucius Antonius and Fulvia, the brother and wife of Mark Antony respectively. Agrippa played a pivotal role in Octavian's campaign, which culminated in the capture of Perugia in 40 BC. While Salvadianus remained Octavian's primary general at the time, Agrippa's strategic brilliance shone through. With Octavian's departure for Gaul, Agrippa was entrusted with the crucial role of urban praetor in Rome. His primary objective was to defend Italy against Sextus Pompeius, a formidable opponent of the Triumvirate who had occupied Sicily. In July 40 BC, while Agrippa was occupied with his responsibilities as praetor, Sextus launched a raid in southern Italy. Undeterred, Agrippa swiftly advanced and forced Sextus to retreat. However, the stability of the Second Triumvirate was short-lived. In August 40 BC, both Sextus and Antony invaded Italy, throwing the region into chaos. Agrippa's military acumen proved vital during this tumultuous time. He successfully recaptured Sipontum from Antony, which played a significant role in bringing about peace between Octavian and Antony. It was during these negotiations that Octavian learned of Salvadianus' treachery, leading to his prosecution and subsequent demise. Agrippa's unwavering loyalty and exceptional military leadership catapulted him to the forefront of Octavian's trusted advisors. He emerged as Octavian's leading general, playing a pivotal role in shaping Octavian's rise to power. Do you want to explore more politician or military strategist? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.